Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, welcome back if you just came here from uh, part one of the big massive haul. Uh, like I said, I had to bust it up into two parts. So many cars. The first one was Matchbox. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's titled uh, uh, New Matchbox from November 2017. Just finished that video, got it uploaded, and here comes part two from that big haul from uh, last weekend. This is going to be a shorter video. In fact, quite a bit shorter. But uh, this is all the juicy stuff. The really good stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get going. This is a mix of different things. I've got uh, one mainline Hot Wheel to show you, but it was a hard to find one. I've been looking for this thing for about a month, and I finally got a hold of a couple of samples. And uh, I've got uh, the rest of the Jeep series from Matchbox. I completed that. I've showed you, uh, showed. I've shown you a few of those. I got the rest of them, and then some other cool stuff. You'll see it when you see it. So stick around. Here we go. I'm going to start off with this one mainline Hot Wheel that I got. It is the uh, 2016 N case, N as in Nancy. And uh, like I said, folks, uh, this is a real popular Hot Wheel. It's, it flew off the pegs. I never could find it. And I found two at Walgreens last weekend. It's the Yellow Submarine, the Beatles. And I want to tell you a little interesting uh, little side note about this vehicle. I was uh, tooling around on eBay, which I do from time to time, just to look and see what some of the Hot Wheels that I own are selling for. And uh, I saw this thing going for as much as $15. This uh, yellow submarine on eBay. Now to me, that's just, uh, that's insane. It, it really is. Not only that, that someone would pay that price, but that someone would uh, hoard all of these up that way and then go on eBay and charge a price like that. That's just completely crazy. But anyway, enough of that. Here's this little stuff on the back. Scraps, get out of there. <laughs> My dog's messing around in the laundry room. You can read that if you want to. And uh, it is a pretty cool vehicle. You got your little wheels on the bottom. Metal base. Looks like a plastic top. There's the Fab Four. Screen Time Series. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't see 15 bucks. Maybe you guys do. I don't. But uh, anyway, I happened upon a fresh shipper at Walgreens last weekend and I had already picked up everything in it which was you know some great cars I already had my copies of the other ones but I had not yet uh, found the subs so I got mine all right let's do uh, four cars in the matchbox Jeep series and this completes the set for me I do believe yep I'm looking at the back here I've already shown you five of these. Here are the other four to complete the set. Here is the Jeep Willys. I was remarking that these are uh, really cool with the with the uh, artwork on them. Really fantastic artwork. This one's got the snowy tires on it. And the uh, sort of, uh, I don't know what shade of blue you'd call that. Blue-green. Pale blue-green, really. But I love me some silver. And uh, I believe those are headlight inserts, guys. I can't really tell. No, they're just painted. It's painted metal. But if you look at them just right, those look like headlight inserts, but they're not. We got the gas cap detailed there. 
Yeah, these are really nice. I love to pick up the Jeep series. I think this is the second run, unless I am mistaken, of the Jeep series. Second installment, whatever you want to call it. Here's the 2014 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. I got this guy in blue, dark blue. I showed it in a couple of videos back. It was just, uh, you know, right off the pegs, though, a single in the regular uh, main lines. But the white one here is pretty cool with your, uh, with your black uh, stripe on the hood there. You got the headlights and the day and the tail lights. Pretty nice model. Nice family car. This one's nice. I like this one a lot. Uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. And you know I'm saving my favorite out of the entire series for last because that's what I always do. You already know it. If you are a regular viewer, uh, boat's got all kinds of stuff in it, the raft. I don't see a choking hazard uh, warning, but I'm going to think that that boat might come off on the top there. So if you're giving this uh, vehicle to a young one, a little one, you might want to, you know, have some concern about that. That boat might come off and they can get it in their mouth. But uh, that's a really nice color and I love the wheels. I love all black wheels on a uh, vehicle. They are great. And as I said, here's my favorite of the eight cars in the series. Got me a couple of samples. The 1943 Jeep Willys. Yeah. And it's in the Army Decos. Fantastic. Loving it. Loving it immensely. And that is the True Military Green. And it looks fantastic, man. It really does. Had to get me a couple. They had uh, they had five or six, but uh, I didn't go crazy like I used to do when I first started collecting. I would have picked up five or six of them uh, back in the day, a couple years ago when I started. But I've kind of toned it down. All right, let's move to a special series here. I discovered these last weekend at Kroger and completely did not know that these guys were even out there. Had not seen any videos on them yet. Uh, had not read about them or anything. So, here they are. It's uh, this series called Track Day. Hot Wheels car culture right there. And here's the back. I got all the, I got one through four in the series here I'm going to show you, but I did not get the Datsun Bluebird 510. No surprise whatsoever. That little guy is uh, probably not going to show up at all for me to be able to collect it. But uh, here's car number one of five. These are real riders, rubber tires, and they are metal on metal, and this guy is heavy. Most definitely. Nine six four. I love the rims. What's that on the top there? Urban Outlaw. I don't know, that looks a little tacky to me, but uh I guess I'll take it. And uh, if I had to say one other thing negative about it, which I can't help but say, that bright blue interior, it's not doing it for me. But everything else about this guy, those big thick uh, slicks on it, rubber slicks, it's great. I like it. The hood's good too, the two-tone, black and on the silver. Very cool. Car number two, 
truck day. It is the 78 Porsche 935. This is always a good looking car no matter how they paint it up. Number seven, Urban Outlaw again. I guess that says it on all these. I didn't really look into that. We may find it on all of these models. There's your white metal base and some nice thick slicks again. Great colors. Great colors. Like it. Never did care much for those wheels, but I know a lot of people like them. Uh, just, they're not for me. But I thought this was a cool series. I wish I could have got uh, that Bluebird to complete it, the whole set out. Here's the 70 che uh, Chevy Chevelle. One of my favorite castings uh, in the main lines. Love this thing. Great old muscle car. We got roll cage in there. Nice silver striping on the top. The hood locks are uh, painted in there. Yeah, it looks great. There's your slicks again. I guess they all have the slicks on them. Pretty cool. And here's number four. This is a good one, even though I didn't get the Bluebird. This is probably the second best one in the lineup. The uh, Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. Two different uh, shades of blue from the car to the artwork. I showed you that little flub in my last video on those Matchbox. One of the cars uh, didn't match the artwork. Don't remember which one it was. Oh, it was the Range Rover. Yeah. The card was red and the actual car in the package was orange. But, uh, oh, man, I love these rims. Hoosier. He's from Indiana. <laughs> Roll cage in there. Different colors in the interior. Look at those big thick ones on the back. Nice. Looks like some of that stuff might pop up on the top, but I'm not going to open this thing. I don't do the cracking anymore. I don't have room to put loose cars. So uh, I haven't been cracking anything in like months. But you guys, if you've been with me from the start, you know I used to do cracking videos here on my channel. Just uh, ran out of space. All right, uh, I picked me up a Johnny Lightning. They had a, a bunch of these from this new uh, Street Freaks set that is out now. This latest uh, series from the Street Freaks. But I only wanted one out of all of them, and here he is. Surf Rods from the Street Freaks series, Johnny Lightning. I got me the 64 VW Type 2 Transporter. Die cast metal body and chassis, and I think mine's got plastic tires. But I love this old guy. Cool surfboards on the top. I wanted to show you those. Huntington Honeys and Bonsai Babes or something. Yeah. We got stuff going on in the back. Cool, cool, cool. This sucker is very, very heavy. Very heavy. And I'll probably get the other uh, version of this because they've been doing two versions of each of these uh, Street Freaks. So since I love this uh, VW so much, I will probably get the other version, whatever color it is. And here's the last thing I want to show you. Uh, I showed you this guy about three weeks ago. Greenlight Hollywood National Lampoon's Vacation. The Wagon Queen Family Truckster. Very cool. Highly detailed. I talked about all the details on it. How great it looked. 
And I found this one at uh, Toys R Us last weekend. And uh, I picked it up because of the variation. As you can see, the, <laughs> this one here is after uh, Chevy Chase made the jump that, sh that is shown in the picture there. And, uh, well, actually, I, me I meant to say this is after he had his hubcap stolen. And this one looks like when they just started out. But the luggage is identical. You can see there, luggage is the same. I think the only variation is the hubcaps. But uh, love the movie franchise, love the vehicle. To me, it, it was really the star of the movie, not the characters. So I wanted to pick up both variations on it. And there they are. These are about five bucks. So there you go, folks. This finishes off last weekend's haul for these two videos. Like I said, check out that other one if you are interested in Matchbox. That's all the video is. And uh, it was my last video that I uploaded, so you'll find it pretty easy. Just go to my channel. And that's going to do it. Uh, we'll see you guys again as soon as I can. Have a great weekend, and you all take care.